Right, hello everyone. So this video, I'm going to introduce you what I believe is the best app, best calculator app uh, when it comes to multitasking and the, the one that you would like to use, you, you want to use on your iPad. Right, so I'm a science teacher. I teach mainly physics. So I do a lot of work on my iPad. So I've been looking for the best calculator app, which works really, really well with the iPad, especially when it comes to multitasking. So if you can see, if you go to the app store, if you just search for calculator app, there's a lot. There's like some of them looks like this, which is eh, not that great. Some of them looks like this and none of them is great to be honest, right? The app that I'm going to show you is called and calc, which is this one. Look at that. Okay, and calc. The reason is it looks exactly like a scientific calculator that you know the students might use, or I might use when I was at uni at school, which is a Casio um, calculators, right? It looks exactly the same. It tried to mimic exactly the same. Now there's different themes that you can do to it, so you can have different looks, different uh, style, but overall it is exactly the same as um, a Casio calculator would be so it's free right it says here best calculator for students and also teachers right it has really really great reviews so i'm going to show it to you right now so here it is and calc boom right first of all to be honest with you, no one actually using a calculator the full size of the ipad because this looks ridiculous and it's quite tricky to type uh, to input numbers and whatever it's a bit silly isn't it right so what i'm going to show you today is what if i have a, a question that i'm working out on my ipad i'm showing to my students and how i'm going to use the calculator alongside it at the same time so i'm going to go to my good notes let me take my pencil here i'm going to do my good notes app and i have a worksheet here here's a worksheet right let's say i have a question let's say question number four Question number four, 80 percent of radioactive substance decays in four days, determine the decay constant and the second one is the half-life. So uh, the equation I need is n is equal n naught e minus lambda t. So I know it's 80 percent and in this case means remaining and n naught is original. So if 80 percent has decays, that means the remaining must be 20 percent. Or in this case, 0 0.2, not 0.2. And original must be 100%, which is 1.0. E minus lambda, which is what we're looking for, the decay constant. Lambda and then time, which is in this case is 4 days. So 4, right? So if I rearrange this, 0 0.2 divided by 1. So I will get uh, ln, is to natural log. Okay, and then I need to simplify this. All right, so I need to do ln 1, 0, 0.2 over 4, like that. Okay, so I always have my calculator right at the bottom. Right, and then if I nicely drag and drop here on the side, boom, I have it straight away here. Right, so let's do some fractions. There we go. I've got it here. It's minus here. Forgot about that. So I've got 4.02 times 10 to the minus 1. So I can change this format, right, by going to ENG here, right? This is the decimal point. So I can have it normal. I can have it fixed, right? I can change the position. And I can have in terms of standard form. What I do here, so three significant figures in standard form, so I can select which one I would like, right? So there we go. This is the basics. Right, now that is the basics that you can do with the calculator. It works really, really well because if I'm showing this on the screen, on the projector in the classroom, because it looks exactly 
right? Almost, almost similar to the student calculator, right? And then I can drag it here. I can have it a third of a view like that. And it works so, so perfect. I use this every single time, right? And it's, it's the best one so far, right? And then there's a lot of customization that you can do to it. Right, if you want to upgrade to the premium version, which actually I might, I might do that, all right, because it's such a great calculator. And then you can change the layout here, which layout would you like? And then you can change the font, you can change the theme. There's a graph, there's a unit converter as well. So, how am I going to change the unit, mile, meter, foot, whatever those weird units, American units? But yeah, you can do that here. Very, very easy and it looks so nice on the iPad especially it doesn't look it looks professional and it doesn't look too simple it supports all the functions square root it just keeps on going and I can clear it here right and then the same shift for um, function for vectors whatever it is like the same as your Casio calculator right so I hope this has been useful. I'm just sharing what I find um, works for me and I hope it works for the other teachers as well. In this case, it's this calculator here, which is NCALC, which I hope uh, you're going to use and let me know if it has been useful. All right, see you in the next one. Goodbye.